basically uh, is uh, like you know related to that the concept so today's objectives of the lecture are uh, at the end of the lecture you will be able to describe consent and its types various sections of the law related to the contact uh, act referred procedures of consent taking situation where consent need not to be obtained deviations or the exemptions of the consent so let's do it so uh, excuse me ma'am g मैडम स्टूडेंट्स बोल रहे हैं आपकी वॉइस काफी लो आ रही है तो मैडम थोड़ा लॉट बोली या तो माइक थोड़ा करीब कर लीजिए इज इट क्लियर नाउ ओके मैम बेटर इज इट क्लियर यस मैम बेटर है पेरेंट्स अच्छा ओके सो लेट मी लेट यू लेट मी रिवाइज दैट द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द लेक्चर अगेन आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ द लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब रिगार्डिंग व्हाट वी मीन बाय कंसेंट एंड इट्स टाइप्स वेरियस सेक्शंस ऑफ द लॉ रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट referred procedure of the consent taking situation where consent need not to be obtained deviations or uh, where that the exemptions has been given uh, while taking that the consent so let's do this first of all uh, let's start with what we really mean by consent so according to the dis- dictionary meaning consent means to give permission for any act to get agree to say yes this is that the same as we were just doing in a normal practice like you know when we ask something this is something related to your ethics and morals as well you you ask somebody uh, ke ji can i have this if somebody let you know ke yes you can have this so means ke the person has given you that the consent so consent is the two way traffic it's not that the single person's like you know wish or if i'll give you that the offer ke i'm going to give you like you know a uh, gift after like your presentation so until and unless you're not going to be agree to give me that the presentation so it's the consent is not going to be built between us okay so this is by beans of the dictionary permission for any act to agree with or to say yes we called consent as we go for that the history came from since where that the, this has been arise or iski zarurat kyun padi ke consent liya jaye so that is the thing like you know uh, uh, once like you know uh, as you all know ke ji uh, nazi concentration camps jo hote the purane zamane mein to jiski wajah se aapka jo hai uh, conventions draw kiye gaye to build that the uh, like you know to introduce ke consent are the mandatory part of like you know to every kind of the practice other ye hota tha the prisoners were like you know taking with their uh, like physicians choice for, for performing that the human trials like for that the extreme hot cells hypothermia ko measure karne ke liye extreme cold ke andar dal diya jo prisoners hote the they would usually do that the trials on the humans without taking their consent or like that the as the news of that the like you know in the ball times uh, it was the very famous famous kind of jerry um, canterbury ka jo tha ek paralyzed leg us consent was not taken uh, taken took that the at that moment informed consent was not that much clear enough so if they come that because of that like you know he died uh, because of his like you know uh, after the spinal surgery to uski wajah se jo hai ye these are that the, there are million of the million of the cases which are there uh, because of which that the, the concept of informed consent has been arised what is basically is that like every human being of adult year and sound mind has a right to determine what shall be done uh, with his own body theek hai ji that is like basically that the concept behind that the like you know informed consent nuremberg trials as i told you ki nazis ke daur mein jo hai wo human trials hote the jiski wajah se they built that like you know uh, conventions draw kiye gaye and they have built that the principles usme draw kiye gaye the one of the, the feature was the voluntary consent of the subject is absolutely essential ये उसमें जो है वो पुट किया गया था ठीक है सो बाय जस्ट व्हाट वी मीन बाय द कंसेंट कंसेंट इज बेसिकली अ वॉलेंटरी एग्रीमेंट और द परमिशन ठीक है नो डॉक्टर कैन एग्जामिन एन इंडिविजुअल ऑन द इंस्टेंस ऑफ एन एम्प्लॉयर और एनी अदर पर्सन विदाउट हिज कंसेंट लाइक विदाउट दैट दी लाइक यू नो इफ द पर्सन हैज दैट दी साउंड माइंड ही इज वेरी मच बीइंग लाइक यू नो Uh, aware with that the like uh, circumstances or he knows he can decide for himself so you need to take the consent from that person consent is often viewed as 
in the single most ethical important aspect of the medical ethics as i already mentioned to you because totally like you know uh aap uske andar aapka autonomy uh, beneficence uh, non maleficence they all are the gist of your you know consent all of the medical ethic is but a footnote to the the informed consent informed consent pe hum zyada emphasize isliye karte hain ki that is the most important and that the uh, the legal and the, the valid form of the consent which we are going to discuss like you know in the upcoming uh, slides so what are the significance of the consent like uh, we have that the ethical significance and the moral significance ethical significance like you know it gives that the autonomy to the patient and it has that the like you know bound the physician to be very uh, beneficence or that the non maleficence in regarding that the you know uh, in the uh, and work and for that the patient's best interest like you know to choose that the uh, or provide the option to the patient not uh, like you know uh, keeping that thing in his mind ki he will get that the benefit uh, he was going to become that the beneficiary of performing such and such kind of the procedures but look for that the uh benef- beneficence of the patient theek hai there will be no maleficence going to be there no harm is going to be in, or the intention of the harm should be there legally how it is going to be significant it will give you that the leverage or like you know space like make you safe in exceptional circumstances like during while performing the medical treatment theek hai must not be administered without obtaining the patient's valid consent because sometimes what happens that these situations arises and if you have that the legal consent along with you then you will be legally covered theek hai ji aapko exceed karna pad raha hai ya you have to stop that the surgical procedure and like many of the other cases has been seen like you know ke ji surgeon has opened that they like and accidentally he found that the hemangioma is like over there and they start bleeding up so he cannot proceed towards that the like a spinal surgery then he has to close that like you know तो दीज आर द थिंग बाद में पेशेंट लड़ेगा कि नहीं जी मेरा तो आपने सर्जरी मेरा जो है वो नहीं हुआ ये नहीं हुआ वो नहीं हुआ तो लीगली ही जस्ट सेफ एंड सेफ बाय हैविंग दैट दी कंसेंट लीगल कवर आपको देता है कि अन एक्सेप्शनल सरकमस्टेंसेस में भी ठीक है सो बट स्टिल अगेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट दी इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट ठीक है रिटन इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट then again it will provide you like you know treatment investigation performed without the consent constitute betray betray like in that the criminal uh, law and in that the law of tort betray means if something has been intentionally done uh, like in the tort law ke okay, to harm that the person which end up that the like you know the person uh, and causes the harm uh, without taking any kind of the consent theek hai so that comes into that the betray or in even in that the criminal if that is something has been occurred which is with that the non intentional either or ends up with that the like you know uh, will harm that the patient that uh, that without taking that the consent of that person that is called that the comes in that the betray uh no liability results from the decision to withhold or withdraw even life sustaining treatment at request of that the competent patient legal definitions of the consent or the contract act as per the law of the pakistan we have these two sections that comes under like you know uh, on in these ground usually like you know uh, patient plea or like go to that the court okay two or more persons are set to consent when they are agree upon the same thing in the same sense like doctor patient relationship is built up on this contract act and the section 14 says consent is said to be free when it is not caused by force fear or fraud there should be no any kind of the maleficence or the beneficence should be there take care the even you're not going to be impose your uh, treatment over that the patient it should be free no force no under influence of like you know and either the consultant or the doctor or misrepresentation like you know or by means of the mistake so these are the sections of the uh, contract act what are the rules of the consent legal validity of the consent is based on certain rules and formalities maintained in obtaining it this includes fries these are not that the mcdonald fries these are the consent when it is freely given okay while after like understanding that what are that the pros and cons for that the for particular uh, treatment which i'm going to take take care or the consent should be 
rational, like, you know, that should be logical enough, informed, explicit, should be like very clear and specific directly towards that the uh, course of your uh, treatment and with that the with uh, open with your words like you know whatever you are briefing to the patient patient is able to understand okay so it should be specific as well direct as well okay uh, while dealing with that the patients you should need to be very like you know uh, uh, like specific while choosing your words try to avoid like you know uh, like you know uh, medical terminologies more and more unko or simple karke bataiye agar aap usko kahenge ki ji hyperparesia hyperthermia you will get that the hemangioma well, he doesn't know uh, the people doesn't know you have to explain them in your own words like you know in their term, language which they can easily understand and uh, trust you and build the con- uh, consent like you know give the consent or build that relationship or start that the uh, relationship uh, with between that the doctor and uh, patient relationship starts up now criteria for giving the consent what are the criteria like there are particular specific criteria as we already mentioned in that the even it's written in your uh, act contract act uh, section 14 that person should be mentally sound not under the, the uh, any fear or the threat not under false conceptions not under intoxication like if the person has drunken and you are just uh, trying to take the consent like ek alcoholic bande se aapne le liya or baad mein jo hai wo koi usme kuch problem aa jati hai and he just like you know plead you for that to wo bhi invalid ho jata hai above or the age of the 18 years for medical treatment above or the age of uh, medical treatment hamare uh, paas basically in pakistan every country has their own laws and rules and regulation uh, but like for the pakistan the, the age of uh, validity for the giving the consent is like 18 years or sometimes in the some countries the emancipated minors can give that the emancipated minors are that the one who are just totally depending on themselves like uh, at the age of 16 or 14 they got married they have kids so uh, emancipated to have minors in the some countries they were just uh, like you know uh, like uh, allowed to give that the consent or in short remember three eyes uh, on which the consent cannot be built like insanity immaturity and intoxication i hope i'm not going very fast right Now we come to that the consent in the medical field. What we really mean by that? Like when we need that the consent, like, you know, permission of the patient is required for while performing the clinical examination. Okay? Like for that, the, once the patient comes to you and uh, like, you know, uh, he shows her willingness, uh, he just, uh, he just uh, render himself for like, you're looking forward for your services. That is implied consent, like, you know, that is the consent which automatically builds up. But the, the proper consent is required when the, the person is like, you know, the required that the clinical examination, diagnostic investigations are involved, like, you know, radiology, blood uh, uh, transfusion, like uh, blood sampling, administration of drug or the blood transfusion, withdrawal of the biological fluids, hai, surgical procedures, hai, removal of any part or the organ, like, you know, if we are performing that the surgeries, like, you know, uh, like partial or uh, kind of uh, uh, organ removals, hai, uh, like if there is any cancer, hai. so medical research purpose, then again, you need to take like consent of the person that you will keep it in place, or if there is a new study aaya, and you want to introduce that medicine to the patient, then even for that, you need that the proper informed consent and advanced directive healthcare or the healthcare by the proxy, like such cases. Like as that the as I'll give you that the current uh, example of the COVID, ke jab hum uh, ward mein jaate hain, then HDU mein initially they give us take the consent. Ke ji, uh, hum kisi bhi kasam ka masnui saans usko allow nahi karte, thik hai? Like uh, we are not giving you the consent to put that the put my patient on ventilator or you know. So uh, these are the uh, advanced directive or like you know if the paper person knows ki ji, uh, his 
position is going to be that much critical enough that he needs the dialysis or he want to like you know uh, uh, he knows that uh, he ends up with the, the death so he may be he just willing to uh, uh, like you know donate his our organs so advanced directive healthcare may be proxies ke sath like you know they they do that they consent procedures now we come to that the type of consent okay so that was that the total uh, what i have defined up till now what is basically concept what is the the uh, moral and the legal significances of the consent and what we really mean by contract act that is basically just of the consent and take care what are that the uh, like you know uh, in which circumstances you the consent is going to be invalid okay that is the three eyes now i came up to that the type of consent so that is we have implied consent and the express consent expressed consent implied means as i told you ke once the patient comes to your clinic means he has willing to render himself or like you know give the permission to you to look to him like you know or uh, like you know uh, provide your services to that patient that is the employed consent like patient doctor patient relationship to start building from uh, that is the first letter then the expressed consent express consent is further divided into oral and the written one then the written is further divided into informed and the blanket consent so these are the very important things we you should know as a clinician or like you know as a practitioner uh, in your future ke the, these are the different type of the consent theek hai jo ke aap mein se family physician ban jayenge they are totally depending upon that the employed consent जो आपके मेजोरिटी पे क्लिनिकल्स को या किसी सर्जिकल या मेडिकल इन लाइट फील्ड ज्वाइन करेंगे दे शुड नो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ लाइक यू नो एक्सप्रेस ओरल रिटर्न एंड पर्टिकुलरली द बेसिक थिंग इज दैट इज द इनफॉर्म कंसेंट व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट लाइक यू नो एंड द लीगल फॉर्म ऑफ द कंसेंट what is implied consent as i already to, told you that the behavior of the person indicates that the person is willing for examination and treatment theek okay? hai this kind of the consent is employed when a person voluntarily comes to the opd clinic and sits by the doctor however this consent is limited to ordinary form of examination and treatment provided by the demon or gesture of the patient like aapne uh, you ask the name person's name you took that the like you know you hold the hand to uh, monitor that the pulse put the thermometer in the mouth theek hai but once you're going to be exceed from that level you want to examine then you have to take the verbal consent from the patient you may ab aapka i'm going to examine your abdomen then again that the third party should be there which is basically that the nurse theek okay? hai or consent assumes from that the uh, the second thing is that and for important with that the employed consent is sorry the second important thing which is later with that the employed consent ke and consent assumes from the unconscious patient requiring emergency intervention once that the patient comes in the emergency and is unconscious to phir aap usme kya karenge law gives us that the like you know uh, privilege ke doctor should start treating the patient first instead of looking for any kind of that the loco parentis or any kind of that the like you know sibling or any kind of that the person who is accompanying with that person ke uska consent le law has given you that like a space enough that you start up with the treatment and you assume that the patient has already employed his consent to you like you know uh, because doctor always like you know uh, assumes to be a healer like you know uh, in law or law itna usko uh, space deta hai doctor ko ke doctor assume himself ke because law kehta hai ki doctor always works for the in the good faith of the patient theek hai so that is the reason uh, when the uh, emergency cases comes to you and the person is unconscious go for that the like you know uh, emergency treatment because you never wait for that because it assumes that like the employed consent has been given now we come to that the, the next most important one for the physicians for the, the like you know uh, medicine allied surgical allied gynae mein agar aa jate hain then we go for that the expressed one expressed is gonna be oral or the verbal hum usko kehte hain it's that the state is uh, in easy and clear language mein hona chahiye when consent is not employed we called it 
oral verbal or the express consent the doctor must get consent from the competent uh, competent patient after explaining what he is going to do and the implication of what is to be done the patient must express his willingness by word of mouth theek hai isme aapko zarur puchna hota hai batana hota hai ki bb i'm going to examine your abdomen to main kar sakta hu theek hai like aapko injection lagana hai ठीक है देन अगेन यू लुक फॉर दैट दी वर्बल येस और नो ऑफ द पेशेंट ठीक है एक्सेप्टेबल इन रिलेटिवली माइनर एग्जामिनेशन एंड थेरापूटिक प्रोसीजर्स लाइक इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन विदाउट इन एसिजिया वी नो पंक्चर स्टिचिंग ऑफ द वोड है लाइक आर टी एस के केसेस आपके पास आते हैं देन यू हैव टू इन्फॉर्म एंड टेक द वर्बल कंसेंट के लिए ये मैं आपको स्टिच करने जा रहा हूँ प्रिफरबली अगेन ओपटेन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द थर्ड डिस इंटरेस्टेड पार्टी दैट इज न Now the second part of that, the express content, uh, consent is the written one. That is that the most uh, appropriate. ठीक है. Um, permission obtained in the writing for signing a written statement, preferably जो है वो separate performa भी होता है. It has been like you know you have seen अगर आप लोग अब clinics में जाएंगे look for it please. के consent forms को देखिए look for consent forms. What the written over there? What are the policies there? Uh, either that the procedures are well defined the procedure of the anesthesia how much duration each and everything like you know for the particular specific uh, surgeries usually like you know uh, aga khan has a start they practice ke unke alag alag bane hote hain uh, to uh, you know you have to look for these things as well acceptable for all major therapeutically and surgical procedures like endoscopy radioscopy ivp जनरल एनिस्टीजिया सर्जिकल ऑपरेशन ठीक है उनमें हम वी ऑलवेज टेक दैट दिट इन फॉर्म ऑफ द इनफॉर्म कंसेंट एडवांटेजेस बिकॉज ऑफ इजी प्रूफ एंड परमानेंट फॉर द दी फॉर्म ऑफ रेकेट ठीक है आप इसको प्रूफ के तौर पर रख सकते हैं इफ द पेशेंट दिनाइज दैन इट सेव यू सम टाइम यू हैव दैट दी प्रूफ के जी एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ द रेकेट के जी पेशेंट हैज गिवन दैट दी कंसेंट नाउ वी कम टू दैट दी इनफॉर्म दैट इज अगेन दैट दी पार्ट ऑफ the written consent that is the informed consent informed consent again the type of the written consent which is said to have been given based upon a clear appreciation and understanding of the fact implications and consequences of the action of patient giving him or her a fair chance to decide voluntarily usually be obtained by presenting the patient with a consent form to be signed so ye again it's a kind of that the written consent hai ye informed hota hai informed kehte hain hum use and uh, usually been given to that the patient like you know after briefing each and everything like you know uh, as you are working for the beneficence of the patient you have you need to tell each and every simple thing to the patient ke facts and figures about the uh, procedure how many percentage of that the success rate how many percentage of that the failure rate if you have performed that the success surgeries in that particular areas you have to mention this is and that as well ki ji itne mera apna experience hai ki itni success rate hai iske andar theek hai the ideal and acceptable type as i already told you ki ji jab whenever we talk about the consent form that is the ideal one after that patient can accept or reject it totally depends upon the autonomy of the patient theek hai ji पेशेंट कैन गिव यू दैट दी इनफॉर्मल रिफ्यूजल कर सकता है पेशेंट कह सकते हैं जी आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर राइट नो आई विल बी बैक टू यू ठीक है बट आई एम नॉट विलिंग टू आई टेक दैट दी सेकेंड ओपिनियन सो लेट दैट बी ठीक है अ मेंटली कॉम्पोनेंट पेशेंट हैज अ राइट टू रिफ्यूज मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस एंड हाउ बेनिफिशियल और नेसेसरी ट्रीटमेंट मेक इवन आफ्टर दो if you know that ke the it's going to be harmful for the patient like if he's not going to be get treated but if the patient is competent enough theek hai competency can be checked by means of multiple criteria as many usme ek aapka uh, procedure hota hai jisko hum kehte hain uh, mini mental state examination perform kiya jata hai so you can do that thing is well like you know to take the check the competency of the patient uh, on which you can look for that the orientation look for the registration ke how much he registered that the like you know uh, ask for the free object tell him to repeat attention dekhenge aap uska uh, the pehla orientation hai you will ask that the time kya hua hai naam kya hai theek hai recall check kar lenge theek hai ask the patient to identify his pencil and the watch 
so these are the kind of the scoring on which you can uh, judge like you know cognitive aap uska check karte hain uh, ki how much competent the patient is if it's going to be less than like you know uh, 24 20 tak jata hai to it means ke he's not in the state to give that the like you know valid sort of the consent to ye bhi hame dimag mein rakhna hota hai while taking that the consent how to take an informed consent always uh, keep this thing in your uh, mind it uh, it acts thinks like a brain like you know okay what is brain uh, what are the benefits you have to brief like you know uh, before giving that the telling that the informed consent what are the risks what are the alternative uh, available for that such treatment what you are offering to the patient and what does my intuition Uh, what does my intuitions tell me what is my gut feeling about this course of action or the suggestion how does my um, like you know certain uh, feels ye to aap maine ek particular uthaya hua tha lekin but you you should tell like you know intuitions bhi aap usse share kar sakte hain like but again the total thing depends upon the autonomy what if i don't uh, do nothing right now theek hai ye ye patient sochega let them think with the brain theek hai ji aapne apna part kar liya then it's like to, uh, or the the patient side theek hai before that in and form consent let him think with the brain acha ji in form consent mein there are certain exemptions or the exceptions like you know Uh, like emergencies emergencies as i already told you ke the emergencies always falls under the, the heading of implied consent theek hai doctor cannot stop treating the person because the basic role of the doctor is to save the life of the person medical legal post mortem these are the situations where the the informed consents are not mandatory to be taken like you know because once that the, there is a foul play there like if we were the suspecting suicide or the homicide there so that the body becomes the property of the government theek hai then we have to uh, provide the justice to the, the next party for which we have to perform that the medical legal in which we does it need any kind of that the uh, informed consent theek hai we will only get that the orders either from that the court theek hai i uh, or the magistrate examination of the arrested accused i'm talking about the accused if it's he's not accused then the importance of the consent is there theek hai aap agar usko examine karne ja rahe hain then again you will look for that the consent but if it's he's accused he's already been charged for something then if uh, the court is want you to just examine then there is no need for like you know uh, for that the for asking any kind of the consent or obeying that the judicial order hope i'm not going very fast please if i am do let me know uh if you think i'm going very fast uh still you can't hear me because i have opened the chat ma'am your volume is really low can't you hear me or is it clear now okay 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 so now we come to that the blanket consent which is the very common practice like you know agar aap uh, hospitals mein jayenge uh, or aap uh, uh, do one thing like you know before starting your uh, clinical things uh, do one survey on that the consent forms zarur karke dekhiyega because it will give you that the idea ke how the people like like you know uh, uh, defending this help of save, saving their themselves but this is not that the correct way theek hai blanket consent kya hota hai basically blanket as the name suggests it's a wrapped up thing like you know you are uh, selling your product or you are giving the candy to the the patient with along with the wrapper theek hai not an exact type of the consent theek hai formal hota hai ye bhi written consent hota hai given to the individual or entity to conduct an activity without requiring additional approval intention is to cover every surgical procedure purely at the discretion of the surgeon and anesthesia without referring to the specific procedure theek hai 
तो इसमें क्या होता है कि बेसिकली एज लाइक यू नो समबडी विल गिव यू दैट जस्टिफिकेशन लाइक दैट कि जी पेशेंट इतना लिटरेट नहीं होता हाउ वी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन देम लाइक यू नो आप जब आग खान में जाते हैं वहाँ का बिल्कुल केडर अलग होता है लोग जो आते हैं दिन नोज दे गूगल्ड ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल थिंग दिन नोज के जी हमजियोमा क्या है कितने टाइप का हो सकता है उसके कौन से प्रोन्स क्या होंगे ठीक है आ, उसमें ट्रीटमेंट क्या लेना चाहिए क्या नहीं लेना चाहिए एक बंदा यहाँ से अगर आपका लालू खेत लारी से उठ के आएगा कि डज नो अबाउट दैट दी एनी काइंड ऑफ द नॉलेज ऑफ इट ठीक है तो वो इतना डॉक्टर अपने आप को कवर रखने के लिए ब्लैंकिंग ब्लैंक साइड ले लेता है कि जी आपकी सर्जरी होनी है देन यू हैव टू गो थ्रू विद द प्रोसीजर ये आपको एनेस्थीजिया के अंदर होगा जीए में होगा लोकल एनेस्थीजिया में होगा बस दे ओनली सिंपली डिफाइन दिस एंड दे लाइक यू नो पुट द परफॉर्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम और कहते हैं यहाँ साइन कर दीजिए एज द पिक्चर शोज यू कि यहाँ साइन कर दीजिए ठीक है it does not provide to the patient a fair chance of logical discussion invalid in the eye of law basically blanket consent is always invalid in the uh, like you know eyes of the law commonly practiced in our hospitals as i already told you but it gives sometimes logical cover to the surgical procedures uh, as i think by myself ke ye kabhi kabhi ek se ke accidentally aap uh, Once you open the body, you never know कि what is hidden inside. Sometimes आपको कुछ decision making for and that and there करने पड़ते हैं So such kind of the blanket cover, like you know, give you that the leverage or give you the space enough कि you will perform that and justify your like you know uh, your procedure afterwards. But if if you think that pathologically, if it's not gonna be harm the person, and you can give that that much space enough to the patient and can take the informed consent so there is no need to perform anything in that the blanket cover okay now i just come to that the consent in the special situations theek hai special situations may like factors modifying the procedures like as i told you ke okay, unconscious patient comatose patient that they cannot give you that the consent so we assume ke okay, the implied consent has already been given theek hai uh emergencies emergencies hain uske andar uh, when life of the patient is at risk theek hai as i already gave you the example ki ji phir aap blanket cover mein aap uh, there is like you know aap uska wait nahi karte you performed it theek hai uh, then again that the infants and the minor theek hai uh, there is again that the you cannot perform like you know you have to look for the local parents either who is company with them मेरिट पर्सन हैं पेशेंट्स हैं उनमें भी एग्जैक्टली फैक्टर्स मॉडिफाई करते हैं बिकॉज इफ दैट दी ऑर्गन ऑफ जनरेशन इज इन्वॉल्व दैन दैट दी कॉन्सेंट विद दैट दी द सेकेंड पार्टनर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है पेशेंट ऑफ द अनसाउंड ऑफ द माइंड लाइक अगेन द कॉन्सेंट फ्रॉम दैट दी सम अदर पर्सन और द नेक्स्ट टू केन और द पेशेंट कंपनिंग विद द पर्सन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ठीक है ऑर्गन टिश्यू ट्रांसप्लांटेशन अगेन somebody has that they provided the will or the maine aapko bataya ki ji proxies hain uh, they usually works here agar kisi ne pehle se apna bana ke rakha hua hai lekin kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki the relatives they are not willing for like you know and they don't give respect to that proxy um, like you know to usme kabhi kabhi like hamare paas bahut isme uh, thoda sa रिजर्वेशन हैं इन द दी इन द इन द लॉ के हम उनको मजबूर भी नहीं कर सकते दो वी विल जस्ट इफ समबडी इन दी दार नीड ऑफ दैट ऑर्गन एंड डॉक्टर इज वेरी मच लाइक यू नो नोज अबाउट द दी लीगल परस्पेक्टिव एन एस्पेक्ट दैन ही कैन पुट द प्ली इन द फॉर्ट के जी द प्रोक्सी हैज ऑलरेडी बिन गिवन तो प्लीज लेट एस अलाउ टू परफॉर्म दिस लाइक यू नो surgical procedure to take that the organ from this this dead body and transplant it to that the that particular other body section 92 ppc pakistan penal code as i told you ke whatever that the implied consent has been given and that the unconscious state of mind of the patient that comes in the good faith of the person so section 92 of the pakistan penal code bhi yahi kehta hai nothing is an offense by reason of any harm which it may cause to a person for whose benefit it has been done in good faith even without that person's consent if circumstances are such that it is impossible for that person to sign consent 
or if the person incapable of giving consent and has no guardian or other person in lawful charges of him from whom it is possible to obtain consent in time for things to be done with benefit theek hai to ye baat wohi aa jati hai again this is all written in the, the section 92 this is the legal definition that is why like i put as it is but the basic gist of is ke whatever the doctor is doing like you know under that sub sort of cover that is called in the in the under in the good faith theek hai now we we have talk about that the emergency may treat without the consent if uh, injury is life threatening or immediate treatment uh, threat of the patient of the health patient not able to give consent example as i already told you theek hai again this is a quick review unexpected finding in op uh, ot again like you know it assumes you these are that the like you know as i told you about the section 92 it is a uh, necessity an emergency procedures then patient must be given opportunity to provide informed consent before additional procedure in an emergency in which it is impossible to obtain consent then procedure can be done without obtaining consent in the good faith of the patient in cases of the children considered minor until the age of 18 theek hai parents are legal guardian in that they required to give the consent for the minor or the loco parentis loco parentis hum kehte hain ki isko hai basically uh, either like in cases of the school like you know teachers work as the, the loco parentis they can uh, replace that the as the parent like you know if uh, the uh, students went for that the party or the picnic and something happened there misfortune has been occurred so they can go and take that the uh, emergency treatment by giving their consent theek hai so law assumes that they they act as a loco parentis minors minors mein maine aapko bataya tha ki emancipated minors hote hain uh, internationally if, I, if you'll discuss ki emancipated hain minors the people under age of 18 who meet at least one of the following criteria like are self supporting or in that the military ho are married ho or have children whom they care for they can take their decisions like you know uh, consider that the competent adult and can give their own consent children like in cases of the children a court order can be obtained if parents or the guardian refuses to consent to an established medical procedure for the religious and other reasons sometimes what happens ki ji agar um, uh, uh if they are not affording they will take it like you know as i have seen like you know in my practice when i was like doing my hard job and the, the child was needing that the chemotherapy at that duration and paid parents uh, like quit it off us waqt tak hamara itna concept itna bana nahi tha ki what are the ethical values and what is the importance of the consent as that the time passes on and amendments in the laws has been occurred then we came up to know ki we are the being a doctor can put the plea and take the like you know charge of the that child you know uh le sakte the aur uska treatment start karane ke liye theek hai is not required in prescription of the concept of emergency situation hai emancipated minors and treatment of the drug or the alcohol dependent or the sit medical care hai usme aapko kisi cheez ki zarurat nahi padti hai aapko consent lene ke liye aap khud bhi le sakte hain apne behalf pe family and the reproductive right consent for the procedures involving marital rights such as sterilization termination of the pregnancy the consent of the spouse is obtained ठीक है जी बिकॉज टू प्रिजर्व दैट दी फैमिली हार्मनी ये जरूर करना चाहिए दूसरी बात यह है कि अगर इफ एन एनी मेडिकल और द सर्जिकल इंटरवेंशन नेसेसरी टू प्रोटेक्ट द लाइफ एंड हेल्थ ऑफ द फीटर्स कॉम्पिडेंट प्रेगनेंट वोमेन हैज द राइट टू रिफ्यूज सच इंटरवेंशन इवन इफ द फीटर्स विल डाई और बी सीरियसली इंजर्ड ठीक है तो दिस इज दैट दी लाइक यू नो फैमिली एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव राइट फॉर द रिलेटेड टू द कंसेंट acha ji adult with that the intellectual disability as i already mentioned you ke first in many mental status examination mein aap check karte hain uska orientation dekhte hain uska attitude dekhte hain recall dekhte hain cognitive uh, abilities ko judge zarur karte hain to look for that the competency of the patient ke either how much competent the person is and uh, to provide you that the consent theek hai if not then that the next you can aap unko mention karenge ke and the person is not in the mental capacity to provide that the like you know uh, proper consent patient of different cultures and languages theek hai 
uh, in such cases, uh, like, you know, uh, must receive the appropriate written and the oral information in their language. Hona chahiye, humare paas sare forms hote English mein majority most of the time. And we don't have that illiterate people here, like, you know, har tarah ke log aate hain. So, aap unko sirf kate hain ji, ye ye mene jo aapko bataya, ye likha, ye bakar de. That is, that comes again under that the, aapka blanket concern mein aata hai, thik hai? या तो आप उसको कोई प्रॉपर कम्युनिकेटर प्रोवाइड करेंगे ठीक है इंटरप्रेटर्स प्रोवाइड करेंगे दैट द हु कैन ट्रांसलेट ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल लाइक यू नो सेंटेंस ऑफ दैट फॉर्म पेशेंट विद लो लिटरेसी दिस इज अगेन दैट दे द बिग लाइक क्वेश्चन मार्क लाइक पर्सन हु स्पीक्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड्स उर्दू बट डजंट नॉट नॉट रीड एंड राइट कैन कंसेंट बाय मेकिंग देयर मार्क्स on the consent document when consented with the applicable uh, state law theek hai agar koi nahi sign kar sakta they can put that the uh, third party should witness that the entire consent process theek hai because sometimes the challenge ki ji mujhe to pata hi nahi tha usne kya likha hua hai lekin third disinterested party can provide a work as that the witness like you know if that the case has been pleaded there in the court For the research purpose, as I already told you, if maybe you have to properly consent, Lena, for that, that you either what kind of alternatives and placebo are you giving? They will also tell you about the new drug. What kind of drawbacks can be there? So look for that the disclosure required. Therapeutic privilege. आप इसमें नहीं ले सकते यू कैन नॉट टेक द थेरेपिटिक प्रिवलेज बट यू शुड सपोज टू लाइक यू नो एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल थिंग टू दैट दी रिगार्डिंग द ट्रीटमेंट टू द पेशेंट As I already told you, in the medical legal case, in all medical legal cases, examinations were where the persons are produced from the custody records, express, written, take care, witnessed, consent, take care. Examination for the drunkenness, a victim of the sexual offence, suspected accused, produced by the police. Examination for the insanity, any other person produced from the custody. Yes, uh, such consent is also required from next to kin for. सॉरी इसमें से नीचे से उसका ओके इट्स रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट टू किन फॉर द पैथोलॉजिकल अटॉपसीज एंड रिमूवल ऑफ द ऑर्गन ठीक है Uh, उसके लिए आपको आप जरूर उसे कंसेंट ले सकते हैं लेकिन बिफोर दैट लाइक यू नो इफ दैट दी मेडिकल लीगली द बॉडी हैज प्रेजेंटेड यू और द केसेस हैज बीन प्रेजेंटेड यू तो यू हैव टू परफॉर्म लाइक यू नो विदाउट टेकिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ द कंसेंट बट इन केसेस ऑफ द सेक्सुअल ऑफेंसेस इफ द पर्सन इज अक्यूज देन देर इज नो नीड फॉर द कंसेंट बट इफ इन केसेज ऑफ द विक्टम द कंसेंट इज मैंडेटोरी लाइक यू नो इफ दैट द लेडी रिफ्यूज देन यू कैन नॉट proceed like it's by by the uh, by the just of the law law bhi yahi kehta hai ki ji phir aap usko nahi judge karenge theek hai because the lady was already in that the psychological trauma so aap usme nahi le sakte koi bhi plea situation where consent need not be obtained or invalid theek hai now i'm going to discuss that like you know kahan kahan kaun kaun se scenarios hain jahan pe aap नहीं लेते हैं ठीक है दैट इज इमिग्रेंट्स में भी एग्जामिन आप लोग सब ट्रैवल करते होंगे यू हैव सीन कि जब बोर्डिंग कराने से पहले एक छोटा सा क्यूबिकल होता है एंड यू हैव बीन बॉडी सर्च बाय दैट देयर स्टाफ ठीक है मेरे आप करवाते हैं तो यू कैन नॉट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दे डोंट लुकिंग फॉर योर कंसेंट एज वेल ठीक है person suffering from the notifiable disease so you know no need to ask for the consent of the person ki ji ye main bata do is liye ki you have you are bound to being a doctor uh, agar aapko lagta hai ki uh, std ka case hai then you have to share the like you know uh, first give that the option to that the person ki you share with your partner or next time when your company in bring your partner along with you so i'll be like in that be with the very positive or convincing way i'll convince your partner let the your partner um, announce that you have the std theek hai so you can uh, you can sexually transfer that the disease to your partner so it's like you know but if the person comes to you and he's getting worried after a few times then it's your duty to just let inform that the other family theek hai 
mandatory vaccination requirements hain for that you don't need that any kind of the consent it is mandatory polio ke liye aate hain fir drops pilane hain unko pata hai ki ab law ban gaya hai ki nobody can refuse like you know wo isi liye police walon ke sath aate hain theek hai court orders for the psychiatric examination and treatment no such consent is being required and member of the armed forces theek hai unme bhi consent required nahi hota once they will being asked like you know to be examined they have to be examined theek hai uh or for the medical legal autopsies as i already told you okay when there was that the any kind of uh, uh suspect is there for the homicide suicide or any kind of that the uh like you know um uh, you were suspecting any kind of the manipula- manipulation in that the case so body becomes that the uh custody of the state theek hai it is if it is not informed consent ठीक है देन अगेन इट बिकम इनवैलिड ठीक है गिवन फॉर द कमिटिंग अ क्राइम और इलीगल एक्ट लाइक क्रिमिनल डिबोर्शन हो गया ठीक है आप करवा रहे हैं ठीक है यू आर हेल्दी एंड यू डोंट वांट टू कैरी द चाइल्ड बिकॉज इन पाकिस्तान इट्स लाइक यू नो इट्स इट्स अ क्राइम टू अबोट अ चाइल्ड हेल्दी चाइल्ड ठीक है अनटिल एंड अनलेस there is the dire need of it like you know ke bia to either the mother position is like you know become so critical ke jahan pe aapko agar baby bachega to mother nahi bachegi then in that case you go for that like you know abortion that is we uh, do under the cover of therapeutic abortion theek hai obtained by misrepresentation or the fraud as we have already discussed given by one who has not legal capacity like minor or in- insane ठीक है लाइक like, और आप उसमें कॉम्पिटेंसी भी चेक करेंगे ठीक तो सिचुएशन ये वो वाली सिचुएशन है वेन द कॉन्सेंट नीड नॉट बी ओपेन्ड और बिकम इनवेलिड ठीक है तो यहाँ पे ये इनवेलिड हो जाएगा लाइक एज आई गिव यू दैट वेरी फेमस केस ऑफ द मतर मशीद बे नजीर भुट्टो लाइक अटापसी वॉज नॉट डन लाइक यू नो दैट ओनली दैट फर्स्ट ग्लैंस दे जस्ट परफॉर्म जो कि मेडिकल लीगल में नहीं हुआ एक सर्जन ने अटापसी उनका किया और ख़त्म हो गया अटापसी भी नहीं था वो सिर्फ एक फॉर्मेलिटीज जो हुए जबकि वन वंस द बॉडी बिकम दैट दी कस्टडी अंडर कम्स इन दैट दी लाइक यू नो स्टेट कस्टडी तो पूरा एक सेटअप होता है मेडिकल लीगल जहाँ पे अटापसीज परफॉर्म होती हैं ठीक है लेकिन इस केस में भी नहीं हुआ ठीक है कॉन्सेंट एंड सर्टन डेविएशन ऑफ द एक्सेप्शन ठीक है वो कौन सी कंडीशन हैं लाइक द रूल्स एंड फॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ कंसेंट आर रिजिट इन देयर लीगल इम्प्लीकेशन एज आई टोल्ड यू के जी आपने हर सूरत में कॉन्सेंट लेना है देर आर लिटल बट लाइक यू नो डेविएशन एंड कंडीशन हैं जहाँ पे द लॉ हैज गिवन यू दिवलेज और लाइक यू नो आपको एग्जम्शन दिए हुए हैं वट आर दोज दीज आर कॉल्ड डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ थेरापटिक प्रिवलेज डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ थेरापटिक प्रिवलेज मीन्स देर आर सर्टन कंडीशन और सर्टन एरियाज वेयर डॉक्टर्स के नाट डाइवर्ज और गिव लाइक यू नो फुल क्लोजर जैसे मैं आपको उसका एक एग्जांपल देती हूँ कि एक हमने जब इसका वर्कशॉप हम कर रहे थे एथिक्स पे मैंने किया पंजाब में तो दे गिव मी दादी वहाँ पे आग की एक सर्जन आई हुई थी जी सेट के फैमिली लेके आई एंड दे एवरी टाइम दी सेट के जी आप मम्मी को नहीं बताना कि जो है वो एक सर्जन का प्रोसीजर शी रिकॉर्ड दैट वन वो बार बार जब वो जाएँ डॉक्टर साहब कहें नहीं जी वी आर द वेरी मच स्ट्रिक्ट इन लाइक यू नो आर पॉलिसीज वी के नॉट लाइक होल्ड दैट दी लाइक यू नो ट्रुथ बिकॉज शी इज शी इज शी इज लाइक वेरी मच कॉम्पिटेंट इनाफ शी इज लाइक यू नो शी इज सेन एंड शी कैन मेक हर डिसीजन वो जाएँ डॉक्टर साहब कहने लगे हम जाएँ हमारी टीम जाए हम जैसे ही उनसे बात करें वो फेंट हो जाएँ देन अगैन लाइक यू नो इट हैपन्स टू आई सर्थ राइज देन अगैन देन दिस टुक द कवर ऑफ डॉक्टर इन ऑफ थेरापटिक प्रिवलेज एंड करें जी कुछ नहीं होगा एंड दे टुक द कॉन्सेंट फ्राम दिस सन और उसके बाद उन्होंने उस प्रोसीजर को परफॉर्म किया दिस सेट के देर आर सटन समाइम्स ऑफ द कंडीशन हैपन्स वेर यू हैव टू होल्ड लिटल बट लाइक यू नो लाइक अगर आप पेशेंट को देखते हैं उसका पैनिक लेवल्स देखते हैं तो यू कैन होल्ड लाइक लॉ हैज गिवन यू दैट दी लाइक यू नो थोड़ा सा आपको थोड़ा सा प्रिवलेज दिया हुआ लॉ ने ठीक है डॉक्टर इन ऑफ एमरजेंसी अगेन दैट दी एम्प्लाइड कॉन्सेंट सिचुएशन एमरजेंसी में भी यू हैव टू गो फॉर इट लाइक यू नो द लॉ हैज गिवन यू दैट दी दैट प्रिवलेज के अगर आप ओपन कर रहे हैं और आपको कुछ ऐसी चीज मिल जाती है विच इज गि गिव द हार्म एंड यू कैन नॉट परफॉर्म दैट दी नेक्स्ट सर्जरी आफ्टर गिविंग दैट दी लाइक यू नो दैट मच टाइम इनफ 
कि आपको लगता है कि वो स्प्रेड आउट हो जाएगा कोई ट्यूमर मिल रहा है आपको देन यू कैन गो फॉर इट ठीक है अगेन दिस हैज दी योर प्रिवलेज doctrine of loco parentis like if the, the you guys are a student of mine like you know if you, i accompany with you and something happen there so i'm going to be like you know work as your loco parentis and i'm going to give that the consent there so law has given me that the privilege for that ki ji uh, law uh, assume ki my mera consent bhi wahan pe valid ho jayega theek hai so what are the challenges we have uh, isko agar hum consent ko overall dekhe theek hai scientific concept difficult to communicate this is very true because we are living in such kind of the the like you know country or the part of the world uh jahan pe aap har cheez scientifically way mein unko nahi samjha sakte to phir doctor apne aap ko undercover rakhne ke liye doctrine of therapeutic privilege ko adopt karte hain theek hai jo ki bilkul sahi nahi hai lekin sometimes they have to theek hai वनरेबल पॉपुलेशन है स्ट्रक्चरल इन एक्विटीज है रेसिज्म है पोवर्टी है लो लिटरेसी रेट्स हैं जेंडर इश्यूज हैं तो ये बहुत सारे ये चैलेंजेस भी हमें आते हैं लाइक यू नो लेडी मर रही है वो कहते हैं नहीं जी मुझे तो ये मेरा पीशियस बेबी है बेटा है मुझे तो चाहिए चाहिए बट देयर यू हैव टू टेक द डिसीजन ठीक है बिकॉज मदर्स लाइफ बिकॉज उसके ऊपर और दूसरे बच्चे बैठे हुए हैं तो वो आपको लेना पड़ता है डिसीजन ठीक है ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द कंसेंट फॉर्म फ्रॉम वन लैंग्वेज टू एद अदर दैट इज प्रॉब्लमैटिक लाइक अगर मेरे पास स्पष्ट तो अगर कोई आ जाता है तो मुझे आई हैव टू डेफिनेटली लुक फॉर द इंटरप्रेटेड कि जो वो उसको पश्तो में ब्रीफ कर सके कि मेरे इस कंसेंट फॉर्म का एक एक वैल्यू क्या क्या लिखा हुआ है इसमें हर सेंटेंस के क्या मायने हैं ठीक है सो दीज आर द चैलेंजेस वी वी यूजली सी इन लाइक यू नो in our most of the time these are the questions which i'm going to share you on your uh, lms do reply on the lms please so um, it's going to be like your practice as well as you will be able to like you know learn a lot from these questions thank you very much hope uh, uh, i just uh, simply able to convey all my messages towards you और आपको समझ में भी आया होगा प्रेजेंटेशन इफ एनीबडी हैज दैट दी क्वेश्चन प्लीज टू आस्क अच्छा जी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव सीन इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक यू नो मोहम्मद शाहिर वेन इट कम्स टू मास्किंग इन क्लिनिकल स्टडीज शुडन बी हाइड द फैक्ट दैट द पेशेंट दैट द पेशेंट इज गिवेन एक्सपेरिमेंटल ड्रग और द प्लेसिबो देखो बेटा वंस लाइक एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडीज में यस वी वी डू द थिंग लेकिन हम उसमें एक ओपन अनाउंसमेंट रखते हैं ठीक है हम बताते हैं कि वी आर गोइंग टू चूज द दी पॉपुलेशन जिसके अंदर हम ये ट्रायल्स करेंगे ड्रग का लेकिन प्लेसिबो इज द थिंग विच जो कि बताई नहीं जाती है लेकिन आप अपने एक्सपेरिमेंट से प्लेसिबो वो चीज़ है विच इफ इट्स नॉट गन बी गिव लाइक यू नो लाइक अगर कोई बेनिफिट नहीं दे रही है तो हार्म भी नहीं दे रही है ठीक है लेकिन आप उनको बताते जरूर हैं कि एक एक स्टडी है लेकिन आप अपने ड्रग के बारे में जरूर बताते हैं यू हैव टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक एंड वेरी क्लियर अबाउट योर ड्रग व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू द पेशेंट व्हाट आर देयर साइड इफेक्ट्स उसमें क्या क्या होने चाहिए ठीक है तो वो सारी चीज़ें जो हैं आपको क्लियर होनी चाहिए ठीक है ना वो आपको पेशेंट से बतानी बतानी है फॉर विच आपको प्रॉपरली और इवन द विलिंगनेस ऑफ द पेशेंट इज आल्सो लाइक यू नो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट इज द रीजन यू ऑलवेज फॉर द एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडीज बहुत ही बहुत डिटेल्ड परफार्मा होता है बहुत प्रिसाइज नहीं होता डिटेल्ड परफार्मा बनता है और उसके अंदर पहले हर चीज़ उसको डिफाइन की जाती है डिस्कस की जाती है इसी वजह से एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडीज का ड्यूरेशन भी बड़ा होता है और उसमें आपको काउंसलिंग की भी बहुत जरूरत होती है ठीक है आई थिंक आई हैव क्लियर्ड दर योर क्वेरी राइट से यस इफ आई हैव क्लियर्ड ठीक है अच्छा जी मोइज मैडम इन द केस इफ विजी भोटो वॉज इन द फैमिली कंसर्न नीडेड फॉर द टाप की नो once that the like you know that the that the death was suspected as i told you because of any kind of the suicide or the homicide and the foul play is big there as you all know that there was the gunshot wound injury 
तो और नो वन नो कि आई द गन शॉर्ट बिकॉज दी हेड बाय दी हेड बाय दी रूफ और समबडी हैज डन मैनिपुलेटेड समथिंग इन साइड नो वन नो बिकॉज प्रॉपर अटापसी नहीं हुआ ठीक है सो दैट इज द फैमिली कंसेंट वॉज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट एट दैट मोमेंट अच्छा जी वॉट इज डन इन मेरिट कंसेंट कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट मेरिट कंसेंट में मैंने आपको बताया कि वंस दैट दी इफ द पेशेंट सफरिंग फ्रॉम द सिफिलिस और सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिजीज देन यू शुड टेल दैट दी पार्टनर आपको कंसेंट देना पड़ता है पूछना पड़ता है ठीक है उनको ब्रीफ करना पड़ता है उनका काम काउंसलिंग सेंशन उन एक्सक्यूज मी मैम यस मैम आपका लेक्चर का टाइम एंड हो गया है काफी ओवर हो गया बस एक सिर्फ इनके क्वेरीज हैं ये जा रही हैं नहीं जा रही हैं ओके मैम ठीक है ठीक है तो उससे रिलेटेड होता है ठीक है होप आई हैव डिलीवर्ड ऑल योर क्वेरीज एंड कंसर्न One more message. Okay. Okay, Ji. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.